Step one, wake up, brother, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three. Hi beautiful people, good day and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, you're welcome and to all my returning subscribers, you're also welcome. My name is Olu Atosin. In today's tutorial, we are going to be learning how to cut a jacket blazer with this unique kind of neckline and we are going to be drafting it on our pattern paper. Guys, in my previous videos, I uploaded how to cut this pant. I have two videos on how to cut and sew this pant and now it's time to cut the jacket. If you're interested, come along with me. And here are the basic measurements required to draft out a jacket blazer like this. So we are going to be starting by drawing our starting line and then I will proceed to marking my shoulder line. I divided this person's shoulder by two and then I added half inch allowance, you know, for attaching the sleeve. After doing this, guys, I'll go ahead to mark out my neckline. This is the back piece. This is the back panel we are starting with. So I'll be using neck width of five, and the neck depth is going to be one. But before marking the neck depth, I'm going to go down with half inch from the shoulder line, and then I'll go ahead to connect my shoulder slope. I'll connect that point to the neckline. That is going to serve as my shoulder slope. So after that, it's now time for me to mark out my vertical measurement line. So I'm going to be marking out the shoulder to the bust point. I'll put a mark at that point. Then I'm using 10 in this case, the shoulder to the waistline, I'm using 14. Then I'll proceed to marking out the full length. The full length of this jacket is actually 26, but I want to add all my sewing allowance to my pattern paper. So I'm marking out 28. Then I'll connect all of this point into a straight line so from the bust point i'll go up with two inches and then i'll put a mark at that point and connect it into a straight line that is going to serve as my chest line so i'll just go ahead to label it that's my bust point my waistline and then the full length then the upper one is the chest point so the next thing i'm going to do is i'll be measuring what i have that's like the shoulder line i'll go ahead to measure it again and then i'll measure it on the chest point line i'll put a mark at that point and then i'll connect the two points together into a straight line that should also give you a straight line and that is going to save us our ham hole i'll just go ahead to curve the ham hole curve at this point don't forget that this is the back panel not too much um dramatic kind of ham hole it's just normal I'm old and don't forget that this is a jacket so there is no need to like go back inward to cuff I'm old the way you cuff for other dresses the next thing is to mark four inches from the middle for that's like the person you put on the and then you connect it into a straight line so at the waistline point go forward with half inch go for go backward with half inch this is just me trying to mark my dots at this point and then you just go ahead to marking your dots just the way i'm doing it is that simple after that guys the next is to start inserting my measurement so on the bust point i'm going to divide our bust by four and then i'll add two inches to in allowance in this case i want to add two inches to in allowance you can as well add one and you can as well add one and a half so on the waistline i'll be dividing our waist by four I'll put a mark at whatever answer I get and then the one inch that allowance that I'm going to cut out I'll go ahead to measure it there before proceeding to marking two inches as my sewing allowance and then at the full length region I'll go ahead to divide a hip by four at that point when I'm sewing jacket, you know jacket is not supposed to be fitted I love to add three inches allowance at that point so i'll be adding three inches allowance and then i'm going to be connecting all these points into a straight line guys at this point and you are still watching my video if you've been with me from the beginning to this point please don't forget to support my channel by subscribing and don't just subscribe turn on the notification bell so you get notified when next i upload new and exciting videos on this channel so the next thing i'll be doing guys is at the lower part i'll come up with one inch and then i'm going to draw that into an arc just you know just like to avoid that place being too dramatically sharp in a naughty way so to speak so i'm just going to draw that curve so the next thing now is to mark out my 
neckline you know i said i used five for the neck neck width and the neck depth is just going to be one and this is the back panel so it's definitely going to be a round neck so the next thing is to mark from my shoulder line to where the neckline starts and whatever i have there i divide it by two or you just go ahead to fold your taper the way i'm doing and then you put a mark at the middle just fold your taper and then you put a mark at the middle that's going to be like where we are going to extend our darts to so just connect those points together and then you extend extend your darts towards that point after doing that guys we are almost done transferring all our measurements into our pattern paper basically and then at this point we are just going to mark our middle darts this is absolutely optional you can choose to put it and you might not put it on the waistline just go inward with one inch and then you connect it upward and you also come downward and then you connect it just the way i'm doing just look for a way to to like merge it in a way that it will not be too pointy so just mark it out the way i'm doing and then at this point we are done drafting all we need to draft for this particular back panel we can now go ahead to start cutting it out after cutting it out we proceed to labeling so this is center center back the other side is the side back this is just for me not to mix it up when i'm transferring it to the main fabric so guys we are done with the back panel this is the front panel now i'll be starting with my shoulder line divided by two then i'll come down with half in pretty much what we did for the back panel we are going to repeat almost all of it for this front panel then the neck neck width is five. I divided it by two. Then connect your shoulder slope to where the neckline starts from. After then you can start transferring your vertical measurement. So transfer shoulder to bust point. I used then shoulder to waistline and then the full length. And don't forget that at this point I'm adding my sewing allowance on my pattern paper. So I used full length of 28 instead of 26 then connect all of this point into a straight line the next is from the bust point i'm going to come up with two inches and then that is going to be my chest point i'm repeating this in case you didn't get it when i was re when i was saying it for the back panel so the next is to mark out my shoulder line and then since this is the front panel i'm going to come inward with half inch when i divide my shoulder line by two the middle i'm at the middle i'm going to come inward with half inch and then i'll go ahead to draw my arm hole cuff front arm hole cuff is going to be a little bit different from the back arm hole cuff then from the middle go inward with four inches this is nipple to nipple connect that into a straight line and on that line at the waistline point go forward with half inch go backward with half inch and then you go ahead to draw your dots connect your dots don't forget to label chest point bust point waistline and then the full length now the bust divided by four plus two inches so in allowance at the bust point line and then on the waistline the waist divided by four plus one inch allowance that you are going to cut out for the dots and then plus two inches sewing so allowance and then at the full length line the hip divided by four plus three inches allowance i'm just using three inches at this point just to be able to get enough room to you know you're not supposed to be fitted now connect all these points just the way i did and then i'm using my ruler as my taper in now mark one inch upward and draw an arc at that point just the same way we did for the back panel so guys this neckline is is a um, kind of technical and you just have to like imagine it in your head first or you can just draft it out somewhere in another paper first before transferring it to this main paper so this is just me marking out my neckline just 
do the way I'm doing if you're interested in cutting this exact neckline for your piece and then just draft it out like this and basically that is it for the neckline I'm using this neckline because my client sent in this picture and then she wants this exact neckline so guys the next thing I'm going to be doing is the shoulder line I'm going to divide it by two by folding my taper and then I'll put a mark at that point and I'm going to extend my dart towards that point guys please don't forget to support my channel by subscribing let me know your thoughts in the comment section if you have any question at all please don't forget to ask me in the comment section and basically I'm just going to cut it out we are done with the front panel as well I'm going to transfer all of this to my main fabric behind the camera so I've transferred it at this point just just trans transfer it to your main fabric don't forget to add half half inch allowance on both sides left right up and down everywhere just had half inch so I transfer this is the front panel now after transferring to my main fabric then you are going to transfer this main fabric into your lining too exact measurement is just that the lining will be one inch shorter but all the sides will be equal so this is the front panel and guys here is the back panel after i've transferred to my main fabric please don't forget to add half inch allowance on every side left right up and down so guys because i don't want this video to get too lengthy I'm going to be cutting this. I'm going to be uploading how I cut the sleeve in my next video. Thank you so much for sticking with me. I'll see you in my next video.